Hey there guys, what's going on? And welcome back to the Alls for RTG. Uh, 26 wins? Hey, that's not so bad, right? Well, I had one game remaining. And the matchmaking, goddamn, it put me up against someone that had finished 11th in the world monthly and in the previous month, something similar. And I know that a lot of you guys will be sitting there rubbing your hands, ready for me to complain about the gameplay, because that would suit your agenda of me always complaining. It was terrible. No, the previous games were. The last game, well, towards the end, actually, I had three or four consistent matches. And this guy was incredible. Credit where credit is due. Like, although I wasn't really playing that well in the attack, he was defensively strong and he controlled the midfield so well. Stopping all of the passes, his positioning, really, really good. And although like 26 and 27, like that one game difference is a lot of coins, I could actually accept that and I wasn't even like too mad. It was the losses before that that were stupid, but... In total, I think uh, we've had a pretty good weekly run. I like the team, I like the players, and Bernardo Silva is still underperforming. Trust me, boys, it may be some of you guys can't see it right now, but please believe me. Bernardo on the ball, still great. Pace, awesome. Tracking back ability, he's got that. But there is something that is different with the way he is shooting or just not scoring consistently. Remember like last week and even the weekend where it was horrendous gameplay, he was one of my best players because his finishing it was just broken on the game. Now, he misses some sitters. Um, he completely missed actually, before we even went into the weekend league, did we not uh, play like a Div division rivals match? And he didn't even hit the target from that angle. And that genuinely shocked me. I was like, what? He hasn't hit that to the near post. Or maybe that was in the weekend league. I was I, I, like, I was shocked. And there is something that's changed. But I can't quite put my finger on it. But I don't want to use him for next week. I want to find a new winger. Now, I did go and open the party bag SBC because we had version 3. And I pulled... Big man, Danny Da Costa. I did go and have to purchase a Busquets though for like 50 or 60,000 to bring up the rating. But Danny Da Costa, I'd love to get him into our starting 11, but it's going to be very, very difficult for chemistry. Now, I've got 100k packs to go and open and a couple of other things to redeem with foot birthday still in packs. Let's hope and, and fingers crossed we get something good. Now, with our team, uh, you're going to be seeing obviously Pele, Neymar, De Jong. Um... With Mbappe, he was really good. He's finished on a positive record. Nothing wrong with the card. Just a beast, right? But I was thinking, would I rather get rid of him to free up the coins to maybe look to bring in a Pele and a De Jong in the midfield? Like, I did like Petit. I thought he worked quite well alongside Essien. But maybe just a little bit more control on the ball uh, in those midfield areas could help us out. Uh, probably and then Pele because I haven't really given him the time or day uh, He could be another like little beast for us and that's why I want to be testing out Pele in today's episode but with um, Rio Ferdinand like I, I had someone leave a comment saying oh I can't believe what you say because you were suggesting that Rio was good and now you're looking to get rid of him or he's too expensive something like that You don't listen. I think that's the problem like with Rio Ferdinand. I said yes, he is good He's also a little bit expensive. And is Ramos better? Yes. Ramos is a better defender. But when you consider he is tradable, it's an icon moments, it's a big name Rio Ferdinand, the price tag is just FIFA 20. Look at all of the other icon moments that are 7, 8 million coins. That's how much you're having to spend on these players to bring them in. Now, I still believe that Ramos outperforms Rio Ferdinand, but with Rio being as good as he is anyway... I don't mind spending 1.7. It's just that if we're really wanting to spread the cost and put together um, a team that is super well-rounded, maybe getting rid of Rio and freeing up the coins elsewhere. But I still feel like I'm going to be using Rio and Ramos for next weekend. Like, they really did destroy it together. And um, it was on me. I, I wasn't good enough in the attacks in some of those games. Otherwise, that would have quite easily been a 27-win weekendly run. So, yeah, although... We've done very well. I do want to make some changes to the team just to keep it fresh and exciting for myself and maybe for you boys uh, watching. But what would be a dream, right? Instead of going for Salah, because I know that a couple of people said, nah, don't go for Salah. You're just going to sell him because of the weak foot. Right. I was hoping to get Danny DaCosta, Rashika in the starting 11, possibly selling 
Mbappe. This is just like food for thought. There's no 100% set in stone. I'm, I'm going to sell him. But maybe get rid of um, Mbappe. I, I don't know why Di Maria isn't in the team. Sorry, boys. Di Maria should be in the team, but I don't know how to get chemistry. Um, unless I... Unless I start it like... I do something like that. Instead of using Rashika, I actually play Di Maria as a right attacking mid. Damn, that could be quite nice, right? Neymar, headliner, Di Maria... Um, Pele, De Jong. How am I going to afford all of that and get Danny De Costa into the starting 11? I think actually that's impossible. But boys, if you are enjoying the series, leaving a like would be greatly appreciated. It does help grow the channel and get the videos out there. So dropping a like takes two seconds. We'd really appreciate it. And if you are new, hit that subscribe button. And if you're wanting game codes, G2A, link below, use the code Fuji. So yeah, really everybody performed in the starting 11. Didn't have uh, too many issues. Even Petit, I've got to give him credit. Petit alongside Essien, they did a very, very good job. It's just sometimes in the attack, even though I was wanting to stay back, when they eventually did drift to help support, I would want a bit more control on Petit. That's the only criticism that I've got for him because he was a beast when he was in those defensive positions. And I was overall quite happy with uh, with the way I played. And it was on the new patch as well. And, and I know that some of you guys might not... Uh, feel like too much has changed. I again, I can't put my finger on it, but something they've done to the game. I don't know what it is, but it just feels a little bit different. And we still got a good weekend league uh, result. All right, boys. So this I will also claim. So we have a 100k pack, a 50k pack, and then I'm going to be uh, switching consoles because as we are in the market for a Pele, a 95, and also I've been given an opportunity to test out the 98 version. Uh, there's just something about Pele that I, I want to give him a chance. I feel like in front of goal, he's going to be unbelievable. And then his close control is also going to be sick. And that allows me to get the chemistry to uh, Neymar and also gives me another icon link to help, let's say, a De Jong. But I really also enjoy Mbappe. And he hasn't done anything wrong for me to get rid of him. Actually, he was scoring some really, really good goals yesterday. But another couple of players that we're going to be trying out is also the Bedell SBC. That moments card or flashback or whatever it is. I think it's the flashback and a couple of other cards as well. Even Douglas Costa included. But let's go, boys. Um, I was given a helping hand yesterday. You know who you are, Cam from the streams. Uh, he invited me to the matches and I really appreciate that. He basically just quit out of them. He let me score one, quit out of them for yeah the weekly challenges. So 100k pack, 50k pack for birthdays, impacts. Let's go. And with that Danny DaCosta, by the way... If there was a way that I could get him into the team, I would. Uh, why not? Instead of using Carl Walker, wow. Instead of using Carl Walker, I would uh, bring him in for a bit. Oh, I do need those cards though. But then with Rashika, maybe drop in Di Maria and then just buy in... Actually, should I drop Di Maria and then just buy Headline and Neymar? And have our middle cam in Neymar and then Pele Striker? And then Rashika, right wing. If there's a way that I could get that on full chemistry, I probably would. But it's not because the team underperformed. It's just that I fancy refreshing it for next week or even during this week. And trying out like one new star player in Pele. And also Neymar. Pele and Neymar together. I think they're going to smash it. But 100k pack boys, come on. Was the grind worth it? Well, no, I didn't even grind. So the likelihood of this is that the pack weight has been dropped is it walking out? Oh, hey. Didn't even walk out. Surprise, surprise. Now, nah, I, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. When they're going to be giving out 100k packs like this, they've definitely done something with the pack weight, in my opinion. But let me know if you got anything special from yours. But that was um, pretty harsh. 85 rated. Hey, I'll use that for an SBC. And then we've got only one of those uh, combi ball cards, which kind of sucks. But anyway, boys. With the switch accounts now, I'll go and show you the team that I'm going to be using, test out a few players, and see if they're really good enough to be brought to the road to glory. So by now, you should know that I'm very much interested in bringing De Jong, team of the year, back to the RTG. But I also want to figure out if someone like Vidal would work alongside him, because I know that a lot of you boys have recommended for me to get rid of Essien to do Vidal. And then I look at that... Like, locking in coins for an SBC card that I just don't know how he's going to perform doesn't really seem like a good idea. And the pace comparison, like, Essien is just so, so good. 
uh, with his tracking back ability, the way he's reading the game, his strength. So I've never used this Fidel though. He might play just as good and maybe feel a little bit slower. I don't know. But really, the main man is Pele. And I want to try before I buy. Like this card, I expect close control, maybe uh, lucky rebounds because of the strength and a little bit of aggression. And then that really nice finishing stat, 95. Is Pele really going to be the real deal? You've got Douglas Costa as well in there with 75 finishing. Everything else about the card is great. And I still believe he's going to score. So 4 2 3 1, we're going to have Neymar as the middle cam, Pele striker, and go from there. See you in the game. First game, and that is a nice team, especially to test out some of these cards. That's strong. Up the pitch we go. Up the pitch we go. Neymar. This is, by the way, I know you would have seen already, but if you forgot, regular version of Neymar. And still, probably one of the best cards uh, to go for. Little flick. Pele first time. Even with his left. Well, that's what we expect. Come on. Trying to find a way through. Pele. First time fake shot. Pele with his left. Oh, that was a little bit weak. Oh, watch it. Davies. Davies has got the pace. He's going to have to do something. He's done kind of well. Wow. Well played. He's done well. I actually screwed up with my defending there. Bale. I want to send Bale off. No. That pass. Oh, he screwed up. Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale. Yo, the drip. Oh, bail to the near post. To the near post. Across. Oh, damn. Well, we did see that. When I was testing out bail before, his finishing is naughty. Like, he was scoring some very, very good goals from weird angles. Same again. Hopefully, Pele is still wanting to turn up. And that looks like a sweat squad. Adama, Lucas, Neymar. Not bad, but not great. De Jong, though, still so, so clean with his tackles. It, it really is, like, such an overpowered defender. But Pele, though, running scoop turn. Yep. Nice layoff. Fine, Pele. The positioning. Finesse, finesse from that angle. Oh, it took a deflection. That's why. Go on. Go on, Bale. Bale has a right attack in mid, though. It's just that straight line speed. Whip that back post. Big cross. Douglas Costa. Hey. Pele, well, fair enough. That was going to Douglas Costa. I was going to test out his finish. But Pele, auto header, good positioning. And that's what I have noticed from the card, though. Um, even when I'm just building up play naturally, he's taking up good positions to make it a little bit easier for me to hold possession. And he's fast. That's right, De Jong on the track back. Well played. I don't know if I would rather... What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened there? I went for a pass and it's just ballooned off his foot. But I was about to say, I don't know if I'd rather go for a Kante team of the year or a De Jong team of the year as my CDM right now. I'm not sure what I want. I don't know. I, I, I want something. I want them all. Yo, Pele. Pele, Pele, Pele. Oh, Ooh, go on. Only the one goal. What are we doing? Uh, let's sort it out. But Douglas Costa down that left-hand side, he is really nice with it. Like, his playmaking, ability on the ball. I like that. Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh. Not much happening in this second half. Pele, though. Look at that through. Costa. you got to score. There it is. 75 finishing. He has to score that, though. Come on. That's an open goal. Only the two goals. But I feel like I want to go into another game. Come on. We've got to test out Pele properly. Last game with Pele. Vidal. Douglas Costa. Are any of them coming to the RTG? It's one of those cases where, like, you've got your team. It's playing well. And before you even start selling cards, if you just go and play with somebody else's squad, you start realizing what you're missing or what you're gaining. And in the midfield... Although these two have been playing quite well. Go on, Neymar. Oh, although these two have been playing quite well, I feel like I am missing um, my Essien. I really, really like my Essien. But then when De Jong makes tackles as good as that, and that pass was on a plate for Pele's left foot. Oh, Ramos. Oh, no. So can I test? No. Vidal is actually quality. The way he is reading the game... It's, he's doing a great job. Pele's there. Pele to the near post. Hmm. Um, I do I do rate the guy. 
Pele. Come on. Pele. He's fast, that's for sure. Costa. No, you know what? He's the star card. Ignore Pele. Ignore all of these. Douglas Costa is pretty good with it. Vidal. That physical from Vidal. What a ball as well. Clever pass. Like a, a reverse through ball. And Pele's physical. Oh, Vidal to finish it off. Well done. Oh, no, it's not. It's Douglas Costa again. You're joking me. Douglas Costa. to see a way back. The opposition if they can continue in this vein oh no he's done me no van der Sar, he just went through the guy especially neymar as well dropping in those areas through through quickly quickly right test out his weak foot left pele nice good goal good goal that was like just inside the box i want to check douglas costa's stamina because i feel like i've been picking up the ball with him a lot driving forward and you can clearly see that his is slightly worse than Neymar's. And Neymar is playing as a middle cam. De Jong clutched on to that. Boom. But, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bale, hold him off. Good stuff. Damn. Bale, come on. Where's the strength? Wait, I'll take it. Hang on. Drag back. Waiting for some support. De Jong. We've seen that once or twice before. I wonder... Ah! Damn. I was about to say, I wonder if, like, changing the camera angle helps with player switching. Have you ever thought about that? Oh, my! Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's finishing, weirdly enough, it's kind of consistent. So I'm just trying to picture right now, how would the team play on the road to glory if we bring in a team leader De Jong for Petit and then have Douglas Costa replacing Bernardo Silva? I think, personally, that would be an improvement because Bernardo, as a winger, he doesn't really cut it anyway. And with Costa, you look at his stats and he's got really the pace, the dribbling that is perfect. He feels really good with it. And the finishing, weirdly consistent when he was in the positions to score goals. And his passing's fine. And his stamina is definitely playable. And I would just bring on Kent, like I said. Fidel, though, is another player that actually shocked me. I haven't really been, like, too keen on the cards or, or his other ones. But this one felt quite quick on the track back. And then when I was near someone, he really did have that consistent tackle. Uh, breaking up the play really, really well. Now, I like him. But I don't love him because he doesn't have that overpower pace. And I want to be truly sweaty in the midfield. And I'd rather use De Jong over Vidal. But i got to give him credit. He was really good. Now, Pele is, is another player that I like, but I don't love. And I don't really fancy bringing him into the striker position. I don't believe that's like an improvement on Mbappe. And I don't really particularly want to use it. What I want to get, though, is a five-star weak-footed attacker. In that striker position so if that means maybe dropping mbappe to cam or even to sell in mbappe and trying to rework the team i just want five star weak foots all over the place it's just easy to use it's more meta and i want more wins but no i, I had some enjoyment like i say douglas costa with dow good players about team and deal hey you know i like him but thank you very much for watching boys i think i am going to sell mbappe uh, not because he is bad, just because I want to change some things up and I enjoy myself testing out some new cards. But thank you very much for watching. Leave a like and I will see you on the next one. Team out. Peace.